next on the to-do list is a mod I saw in the Grand Design Owners Forum. Uh, I will put the guy's name for right now. I can't think of it. And uh, I thought that was a great idea. Uh, based on our usage in the past, it just never occurred to me and never ran across this mod. So, pretty cheap. And I'll install that. There's a the mounting. It comes with six screws, a template, and the instructions there. And um, it says to choose where you're going to mount it and then mark the holes on the door either with a pencil or, or a uh, sharpie. And then you're supposed to use the template to uh, measure how, because these slide out like that, uh, which makes, uh, makes it universal for whatever size screen door you have. And you're supposed to use a template to measure how far in on each side it goes. Uh, and then you pre-drill a 1 8 inch hole and then you use the screws and that sets it in place. Okay, let me show you my dilemma here. You can see there's, it looks like there's plenty of space here, but if you watch when you open this, that lip is stationary, so you can't mount to that, obviously. It needs to be on the screen it moves. And when you pull this in, that doesn't leave a lot of lip. So I took one of the ends off here so you can kind of see the dilemma. I can mount it here where it attaches and goes through this area, which is what I'm considering. I can't mount it on the bar here because it's too high and too low. And uh, even if I go at this height, um, it's still mounted to the same lip, the same small lip. Now I can put it there, or I can move it back a little closer to here with the potential of it hitting. But when I mount that, you know, how secure is that? Because it bends in there. It looks like I'm going to have to mount it more or less flush right there now. How high up I want this will be based on usage and feel. And when I come back, I will show you where I decided to put it. Okay, the bar feels comfortable anywhere from here to about right here for closing. You don't want to put it directly on the bar here, this one, because your fingers will jam into it when you go to grab it. So you want a little bit above, but you also want it fairly close to the bar here to add stability. And uh, and I think about right in there is where I'm going to put it. The instructions say to use a level when you put this bar on. I'm here to tell you I don't think that's wise. I think it's you should put it parallel to this bar because the trailer could be out of level. Uh, it would probably still be fairly level, but I know from using levels a lot in the past that it looks better when it's even from here to the bottom of the bar all the way across, regardless of the level. So, that's what I'm doing. I use a mini little miniature C-clamp, put it in place. It's one inch from the bottom. And that's where I'll measure on the other side and make my marks. Okay, I've got the marks there. And over on the other side, I've got the marks there. Now I'll take a tape measure and I'll measure the bottom of the dot to the top of this bar on both sides. Always measure twice before you do your work. That's what I've always been told. Okay, in order to determine how far I need to drill into the door, I've taken one of the ends, put a screw on it, and we can see here that it does go into that second little lip. So I'll have to drill into that. Otherwise this pointed screw is not going to make it in. Now the hardest part of this is using the template they use 
or that they supplied with it. It's two pieces of paper and they want you to tape it together then mount and then take the holes where the where the bar is going to be here and then tape it and it, it's incredibly complicated so what I did was I measured I know that these line up with the outside edge of the screen door so I just measured the width of the screen door from this point to that point and I put that measurement on a tape and then I put the bar next to it and basically I know that there's roughly going to be I don't know what uh, two inches of overlap on each side um, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but what I'm going to do now is put the bar inside each one of these and then I will secure I drill one hole and secure it and then I'll have a hard fix on one side and then I'll put this one in here and put it up to the screen loose and uh, check my hole mounts and then I will mark the inside edge here and then drill the other hole pretty simple to me this I for the sake of trying to do it for you guys I tried to I considered it and it's just way too complicated for me so that's what I'm gonna do the marking of the width of the screen is 27 and a half and I've got the ends here and what I did was take an approximate as long as it's pretty close it's fine and I marked it on the uh, edge here with a sharpie and now I'll insert this into the tube okay you can see the mark there and I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit further and then I'm gonna mark the hole here Hole marked, take it out, drill a hole, put a screw in it. Screws in, this side is loose so I can get a more accurate measurement even though I know it was, I could have measured it while it was here. Sometimes things don't jive up exactly the way you want it and you have to squeeze fit. So. In order to prevent that, I just make this in loose and I'll put it up to the screen, measure and mark a little spot there. All right, to hold it while I do that, I put this screw in just barely. And also, in case, for some reason, and I know it didn't, but in case this weakens by doing this, just doing it once instead of, uh, and then because I have to take it back out, I put it on the weak side this is the side that's going to constantly get the pull forces so when I put those two screws in on this side I want them to stay there and I'm not going to back them out but it worked out real good this way anyway because it barely went in and it's holding it in place nicely so I'll go over to this side and I can't do this with the camera but I will show you I've got the screw holes lined up there and all I'll do is I'll make a mark on the inside of this or in the very bottom where you can't see it and uh, from there I know I've got uh, my lineup measure to drill the other hole something I've learned is um, always start the screws in all locations if you can and then kind of tighten them down each one a little bit at a time until they're all four secure and the reason why is because if it's a little bit out of whack, you know, it could go in a little bit. The compromise between a left and a right screw, for example, could be made with a slight angle this way or this way on both screws where the head doesn't lie perfectly flat, but it might be a little bit of a tilt of an angle. So it's always a good idea to start all the screws. And by the way, just for the record, these lined up perfectly all the way across. But I thought I would show you to start the screws. There she is mounted. All four screws tightened. Inside screws tightened, holding the bar. This uh, mod I thought was going to be flimsy. This bar, you know, because you go to try to pull things and you're, you know, hitting the screen and all that. Why I wanted to do this to begin with, and uh, this bar is pretty dang stable on this frame. I was really surprised. I'm quite happy with this. So, 
good job. I mean, it does a good job. I'm not bragging on myself. <laughs> this is Brent signing out with RV Screen Door Mod.